You know, there was a big surprise to many. A big surprise to many. But my favorite verse, uh, you know, I went through a lot of stuff in college and it kind of stuck with me, John 13, 7. You may not know now, but later, later you'll understand. Hopefully people understand. You either win or you lose. Or you, you, either, uh, you either win or you learn. That's how I feel. You either win or you learn. So, you know, as always, uh, win, lose, or draw. I always reflect on the things that I could have done better, uh, things we could have done better to try and take um, take that next step. And that, that, that'll, that'll be the same process that goes on now. Did I embrace it? Just by being, me being me. Uh, be, me being who God called me to be. I, I truly try and focus on the things that I can control, not the things that I can't. So control the things you can, put the work in, uh, never lose faith in what you believe in, and it usually works out. And I think um, you want to cherish, you want to cherish these moments with the people that you come so far with. You know, um, your family, uh, your loved ones, your teammates, your peers, everyone that you, you do it with and do it for. You know, and uh, I'm so proud of this team. You know, I will say I'm so proud of this team for everything that we've been able to overcome. Obviously, we had a big time goal in the end that we wanted to accomplish and we came up short. You know, I think the beautiful part about it is everyone experiences different pains. Everyone experiences different um, agonies of life. But you decide if you want to learn from it. You decide if you want to use that to be a teachable moment. And I, I know what I'll do. Routine, you know, I think when you're playing games like this, um, Kobe, MJ, they talk about it all the time. You're playing games like this, it's about the details. It's about you know, eliminating external factors, things that don't matter, and focusing on what's important. And I feel like all year, that's kind of been my mentality going into every game. You know, focusing on what's in front of me, focusing on what's in front of us as a team, and, um, no, just attacking it. You know, I think it all comes down to your preparation. You want to go out there and be something, you know, reinvent the wheel, be something that you're not, or, you know, just be who you've been this whole entire time. We ain't did nothing yet. And I think this whole entire room, we got another level we could take it to. And um, to be honest, man, I'm, I'm just, I ain't hungry. Coach, I always say hungry dogs run fast. I ain't hungry, I'm starving for this. This did mean, this, this means so much to me. And I know everything is in front of me. You know, the operation of what we're supposed to do, um, where we're supposed to be, um, and doing it with the right detail and fundamentals. That's something that we can control. Um, so that is, uh, that'll be an emphasis. I think in the end, it's about how you respond, regardless of what's in front of you. How do you respond to this scenario? How do you respond to that scenario? How do you respond to the joy, the feeling of joy? How do you? respond to the feeling of pain. Um, I got a good feeling how we'll respond. I've always been a person like I don't, I don't like hyping myself up or speaking on myself or speaking on my name like that. Like, I'd rather somebody else do, do that for me. You know, a wise man always told me, I said, when you good, you ain't got to talk for yourself. They, they gonna talk for you. And I think that's a very similar mindset you have to have when you're thrusted into a new situation where you're trying to gain the respect of your peers, of your teammates, or your people at work, or whatever it is. Like, you ain't got to talk about what you're doing. They're going to talk for you if you're doing it right. Nothing nothing goes on without without God. My favorite, my favorite scripture, John 13, 7, you may not know now, but later you understand. Um, just, just reminds me to keep, um, continue to be patient, continue to to, to remain diligent, steadfast, keep going, keep your eyes on me and keep God at the center, regardless of what the circumstance is. Come, you know, you, you, don't, you don't do those things by yourself, any of them. Um, and that goes down the line of history, you know, but obviously blessed to be up for that award and blessed to be here, you know, blessed to be here, definitely soaking all of this in. It's been a lot of hard work that I put in um, to be where we, you know, be where I am and be where we are. I think I've just been diligent. I've been diligent with everything. You know, I've um, truly embraced the grind. I, I, I found a thrill in the process of getting better. I found a thrill in 
just just chasing it every day, and that takes consistency, you know. And I've I've tried to remain diligent with all of that. You know, I don't um, look at the the grand scheme of things. I just try and go to work. If any if anyone wants to reflect reflect on anything, just reflect on the work because that's what comes first. I, I just want to win. You know, what I'm saying everything else that comes with it. It's gonna come with it, yeah. It's it's fun. It's cool. Yeah. I, I I personally feel like too, like you know, I've challenged the people around me too. You know how I am. Just like, I like you look yourself in the mirror and you know what you're capable of because of the work you put in. And I feel like you know there's another level, and I know you probably feel the same way too because you have these, you know, these experiences, these formative experiences that teach you so much stuff, mm -hmm. and you grow from it. And I feel like. Us as a football team, me personally as a quarterback, I think um, we have a whole nother level to kick into. Right. Can never stop growing, man. Never stop growing. Yeah, enough is man. never enough, you know, and that's that's always my mentality. And I just want to continue to grow, you know, so yeah. I ain't anticipating anything other than just attack, attacking every day and whatever come with it, come with it, you know. The win. And, and enjoy the ride, you know, enjoy the ride because I know from experience that it's not gonna always be easy. Yeah. And ain't everything ain't gonna be handed to you. You gotta go take it. You know, and I and I and I want people to understand that, you know, things are gonna happen along the road. Things are gonna happen along the road. But you gotta look your you gotta look yourself in the mirror, you know what I'm saying? Say, I control my own destiny, I'm not I'm the master of my faith. You know what I mean? And go get it. And go get it. Um But I think there's a ton of value in that. You know, when, when you when you had that moment and you look yourself in the mirror like, hey, man, I'm locked in on what I want to achieve. I'm locked in on my goals. I'm locked in on what I want to accomplish in this. Go get it. The work, the work, the work will always show. Um, All right. My message to them this morning and, and <laughs> before the game, ironically, they say, um, hungry dogs run faster. And you know, when you when you win, they say it's it's hard to keep that hunger. And I think this team is, is in a position and now we can dictate how we want to respond to this adversity, um, this obstacle in our way. You know, what is done is done. So there's definitely a so what now what mentality. And I know my mentality moving forward. I know um, my attention to detail in terms of my preparation and how that'll look moving forward. I know my eagerness to play to the standard um, moving forward. I know I know what that is, so I know how this team will respond. And I have, I have confidence in this football team.